working on the uh, Lasaro. I'm fixing it. We're getting there. And um, I decided how I'm going to go about this. Originally, I was just going to keep the wood filler in there. I don't like that repair. It's not a proper repair on how to fix it. Wood. We're taking pieces of wood, breaking them off from the shims. <coughs> and we're gluing them onto here in these areas. Okay. <coughs> we're letting the wood glue dry on those areas, as you can see. And what we're going to do is we did it down here a little bit. But we had to use a thinner piece because it's a thinner cracked area where we fix the heads, where we fix the heel area. And we're going to keep, we're going to buy more tape. And we're going to keep going at it every area and we're going to put wood right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to buy a tool called the Dremel. Which is basically a small, very small sander. And we're going to go around and we're going to sand all this down. Okay, to get it as plush and even with the original wood as possible. Now when we do that, we're going to get a touch-up marker and then do the touch-up. That's probably the best way to fix a guitar with this kind of problem, is to get wood like that and either shape it ahead of time or get a Dremel later like I am and doing it that way. With the Rogue, we did it all with wood filler. And it's a sloppy repair. It doesn't look good. What we should have done is we should have waited a little bit longer. And we should have used wood. You can use shims. I have guitar shims I bought online. I cut them. Thin wood. I put that in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry. We get some more money. We're going to get some tape. We're going to put those on. And then when we're done, we're going to get our, our, our Dremel. And we're going to thin all those down as, po as thin as possible. Then we can think about stain. We're not stain lacquer. Touch up. We're...